for the first time, those who have been supporting Museveni, the foreigners, and now he's, pre he's pretending to be the champion against foreigners, when he has been bebesat by those same people, funded and so on, now the foreigners are also asking second questions. And that, that's why there is all this manipulation about homosexuality, which everybody seems to be uh, co consumed in. It's, it's, it's diversion. It's now, now Museven is the champion of homosexual, of homosexuality. Why, if he is a champion of anti-homosexuality, he, his government has never brought the anti-homosexuality bill in the parliament. Never. He is a champion of other people's of Basari was bill. He has been in government for 40 years. Why hasn't he ever brought a bill himself for him to be a champion of homosexuality? So, it's only private members' bills that have been debated in Parliament. But now he becomes the champion. And we help him to fight foreigners who have now abandoned him. We must be tactical in how we approach struggles. Because struggles are not only domestic, they also have geopolitics in them. We must be strategic in how we champion our struggles. So, ladies and gentlemen, the opportunity that lies in the country today from their economic collapse, from even mismanagement of the security institutions. Security institutions are not happy. They cannot be happy seeing a four-star general violate their own laws with impunity, which is what General Mohose is doing. Disciplined forces are held together by discipline. We now have a situation where the topmost officer of the force is the one with impunity violating the law. The other soldiers and officers of the force are not happy about that.